Yo, what's going on homies? It's your boy Stumped back from the OPTC video and in today's video we're taking a look at a beginner's guide where to start, how to start One Piece Tragic Cruise. And in today's video we're going to cover a couple of like beginner concepts, stuff like re-rolling, what banners are valuable to start on because we're in the middle of 8th anniversary and right now is the best time to start. You get a lot of free gems, you get a lot of summons, the banners have a lot of very good characters and this is the best, this is definitely the best time to start. After that, after we talk about the banners, after we talk about the characters, we're going to break down some of the best way to farm some gems, sort of where to start, and then what to do after you've sort of beaten that beginner stage. But if you do enjoy the video, make sure to go down there and belt the like button for me. If you are new to the channel or you haven't done so already, hit that big red subscribe button. We upload OPTC content every single day. If you guys would like to see like an intermediate slash expert guide after this one, let me know in the comment section below. I'd, I'd be happy to oblige if there's enough support behind it. Most importantly though, enjoy the video. Hopefully it helps you guys out a little bit if you are a new player. With that said, let's dive into the content. Alright, so after you do the tutorial, you'll be brought to the home screen. You click this big old home button right here, the one that's flashing down the bottom. You'll get brought to a screen. It'll look a little bit different to what mine looks like. But before you do anything, I want you to go to this little notice button on the side here. Scroll down until you find the Lesson Time Tutorial Series. Click on this. There's a Read More button. Make sure to go check it out. There's a lot of really good videos there. Uh, myself, as well as uh, Toadski, Doble, and Rogers Base did like a whole series breaking down the new player's guide. But what we didn't cover is what we're actually going to cover in today's video. But go check out those videos. Pause the video right now. Go check them out. It'll help you guys in depth with a lot more game modes, as well as probably answer a lot more questions. But in the description below will be the link to the Discord. Make sure to come over to the Discord and check it out there. A lot of really helpful people, a lot of really helpful information. But first of all, go do this. This is what you want to do first. Go watch these videos before you continue here, or well, after you sort of re-roll. So, at the moment, as I mentioned, and as you can see, we're in the middle of the 8th anniversary. The 8th anniversary is a huge event that's going on right now. Anniversary is the best time. We get a lot of free gems, a lot of free stuff, and a lot of really cool uh, events to get a lot of good, like, rewards. Now, if you go to this mail section here, once you start the game, you should see a lot of different mails, and you should have a lot of gems to start the game. But where do you spend those gems? Where are you actually going to spend them? If you click on the tab in here, It'll take you to a bunch of different banners. Now, at the moment, the 8th anniversary Turbulent Land of Wano Super Sugo Fest is the one you want to summon on. Unfortunately, there is five parts to it. So, where do I recommend spending your gems? Definitely not on this part here. Definitely not on this part here. This particular part here for Yamato and Ace, V2 Straw Hat Crew, and Law, in my opinion, has the best value for newer players. This particular banner has some really good characters on it that you can use to start your account. The steps, now the steps aren't as good as step part one. So if you want to summon on part one, there's definitely some pretty good value over here on part one as well, because it has all of the Super Sugo Fest. Now, fortunately, I actually can't check the steps. I thought I could, but unfortunately we did 30 multis here. But each banner has a bunch of different steps, as you'll see here. And each step has a different reward on the last poster. So you want to spend your gems to like build up your account this way. And summoning on part 3, trying to get your hands on both Yamato and Ace, and the Straw Hat Crew V2, are going to be the best characters to do so. So what you'll do is, jump in the game, get your free gems, do your summons, and if you don't pull any of these characters, just delete the app, start again, come back into the app, try and pick up these characters. As I mentioned, if you do want to throw 5 multis at part 1, to try and get your hands on something like the new Kaido, the new Luffy, the new Yamato Ace, or the new Waifus, it's very, very good, but... The Super Sugos that have the best value, in my opinion, are Straw Hat Crew V2, which is the character you see on the right there, as well as the White Bid and Roger on this particular banner. So, if you want to, you could jump into Part 1, summon, use your jams until you pick up, like, Luffy, or pick up Kaido, and then when you start grinding, you can head over to this particular part here and pick up the Straw Hat Crew, or Yamato and Ace, because these characters are very, very good. The downside to Part 1 is it does have every single legend on it, with this particular part here, only has 20. So I would probably target this particular part here to pick up a character like the Straw Hat Crew or Yamato and Ace, which is going to be a very good character to help you get through majority of the game and beat some of that older content that has been out for a little while. As a starting player, you'll have a lot of access to a lot of gems. If you click on the Adventure tab, which is found just down the bottom here, it'll bring you over to this Adventure page. On this adventure page, if you click on the world map, it'll actually take you, not that, 
it'll take you to the main story. With the main story, you can actually slide through. If you click on this log post here, you'll see that there's a whole bunch of different story modes. Now, One Piece Treasure Cruise basically goes through the whole One Piece story. And if you head to any of these islands, there is going to be a bunch of game modes along the way. I actually have the challenges that I actually haven't completed. So, like, shout out to Stump for, like, not even completing his challenges. Like, good job. Good job, Stump. Like, really good job. But, as you can see, it goes all the way up to um, Mar Marajoas, which I actually haven't done either, funny enough. There you go, Stump. Content. But, you guys will start all the way down here at good old Fuchsia City. At Fuchsia City, as you can see, there's two events. And when you complete these, when you hit a certain milestone, you actually get gems. Now, the story mode is the best place to start the game because you can build up a lot of gems and you bet, you guessed it, you could go back to those banners and summon more. Every time you get 50 gems, go back to the banners, do another multi and hopefully you pick up some of these characters. If you get really bad luck at the start or you get like a really good multi first and then your multi start being trash, again, just delete the game, re-roll and try and pick up some of those characters. As I mentioned, getting stuff like the new Luffy, getting stuff like Roger V1, Yamato and Ace, Wipe it and Roger are all very very good characters. So the characters you're kind of looking for look a little bit like this This Yamato and Ace is one of the newer characters the newer characters of the anniversary and it's very very good There's a lot of versatility has a very good captain ability because it's for two very good classes Very good hybrid options. So we're great for a new starting player this particular character right here though as I mentioned straw hat crew He's gonna be your best option this character basically makes the game easy mode and especially for the start because you have the ability to run anything you like under this particular character they give themselves cooldowns you can run two of them their special does a lot of damage and then you can just build the team with utility to get around particular pieces of content the start of the game isn't exactly hard so these particular characters will get you very very far if you go in on part one over here you have a lot of characters too like the new monkey d luffy he's very very good for starting players but i do think the yamato and ace as well as um the Straw Hat Crew are the best options when it comes to re-rolling for these newer characters. Once you sort of farmed up a bunch of gems and stuff like that, you'll be able to take on some of the other events in the game, which are found over here on Event Island. On Event Island, also, by the way, you'll be building up your pirate rank as well, which is actually found at the top here. You can kind of see it um, in the middle underneath my name. Um, this pirate level, every time it increases, will actually give you a meat. And you can use these meats to replenish your stamina. So that way you can actually continuously play the game. Stamina is built up over time. And as you get your pirate level up, you'll actually get more stamina. But what uh, OPTC does is it allows you to do the quest once for free. It doesn't cost you any stamina. So all of these quests on the um, event island are all going to be free. Namely these quests right here. These recruitment quests are very, very easy for new players. They don't require a lot. They'll also explain the game to you as well, like how to get around Despair, how to get around Bind. But as I mentioned, make sure to head out, head over to the Lesson Time playlist. I'll leave the Lesson Time playlist in the description below for you guys as well. If you guys want to go, just like an easier way to get there. Make sure to go check that out if you are a new player. Because every time you beat all these events, you do get gems, which is really, really nice. If you click on Event, it'll tell you what's available at the time. These Clashes... These clashes aren't that hard anymore. Some of them are, like the back-ended ones, like Ace here and Jinbei for newer players. They'll be a little bit tricky. But some of these starting quests at the beginning here, as a newer player with some of these really power crept characters, you shouldn't have too many issues actually getting through these particular events. So make sure to try them out, because it's free stammer in the early stages anyway. But as I mentioned, the idea is you just want to try and farm up as much gems as possible. Once you hit the challenge mode, and you've sort of grinded out a lot of story, and you're kind of overstory, you want to try like some teams, and you think you're starting to get the hang of the game, you can come over to here to the Recollective Archive, and you can actually unlock some of the older quests that aren't available at the moment, and you can actually get access to some of these quests. But as I mentioned, the goal right now would be just to focus on farming gems to do as many summons as possible, because you do want to pick up some of these characters that are limited to the Super Sugo Fest banners. So that should be your main goal right now. Tomorrow, well, a little bit less than like a day from this video, we will be getting Kazuna Clash. Um, Kazuna Clash is a great game mode, um, like a co-op game mode. Uh, we just recently had Treasure Map as well. But like I said, if you guys want to like learn about them as well as Pirate Rumble, make sure to go check out the Lesser Time playlist. The specific videos on Treasure Map, Kazuna Clash, and Rumble will explain all these game modes in a little bit more detail. But like I said, the idea right now is to pick up some really good characters for your account that are only available on these particular banners. And don't be afraid to re-roll. If you, you get a whole bunch of gems in your mailbox, remember, every time you reload the game, you should have those gems available for you once again. And then you can actually just start picking up these characters one by one. 
Um, sometimes you can get really, really good luck. Sometimes, sometimes you can't. Shout out to um, Mr. Rain Cantidius. Uh, he's probably not watching this video, but he knows who he is. He sort of comes and goes with this particular game. Um, and he's managed to pick up the Luffy, the Kaido, and the Yamato and Ace all in about 12 multis. He's just done a couple multis on everyone's banner. He's just got really, really lucky. Like, he didn't reroll. He has an account. But at the same time, like, if he can do it, and he has less access to gems than you guys, you guys definitely can too. So if you're looking to start to play in the game, now is the best time to do so. And if you are starting the game, let me know in the comment section below. Be happy to help you guys out with whatever you need. But while you're down there, don't forget to belt that like button for me. If you're new, hit that big red subscribe button too. But guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, please remember to enjoy the rest of your day. As always, homies, I thank you for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Lates!